Nice to see you. Uh, it's good to see you too. It's been a it's been a year, I think, since you've been here, right? It's been a little while. And yeah. a lot has happened. Got married, yeah, had the baby, so just just uh, very grateful, very happy. So, so uh, how old is the baby? The baby's under four weeks. Wow, tiny, tiny, tiny baby. little, tiny, beautiful little girl, and you know, you go through that experience, and all you hope is that everyone's okay. You go through the whole process, and you're, you're, you have a lot of anxiety, but. But thankfully, everyone's fine, and it's just, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. It's really indescribable. It's well, awesome. Well, I just, and, and knowing you, I'm, I'm just really, uh, I'm, I'm happy for you that you have, you're married, you have a baby, but, I mean, I just, I never thought you were going to be the guy that was going to settle down and do that. So I'm actually really surprised and very happy. Let me tell you something. I, I met the best girl in the world, and, uh, you know, it's like, it gives you such a great purpose in your life, and, and, I, and if I would have met her, I would have done it a long time ago, so I'm very, very happy. Look at that. Look at that. I agree with you. It's meeting that one right person. You know, and it's really, and it's being ready for that, too. Yeah. You know, and, and, and sometimes in our industry, or, or I speak for myself, maybe that's an excuse, but you don't mature always in all ways at, the, at, at, at all the same time. So, uh, you know, I was very fortunate that when I got ready and I was open to that, then, then that person came into my right. life. So. so maybe if you would have met her earlier, it wouldn't have worked out. So That's you met right. her at exactly the right you had time. To, you had to be ready to receive that, right. no question. So, so you have the, the little baby. Were you in the delivery room when she was born? I was. What's her name? Uh, her name is Lachlan. Lachlan. We should start calling her her name instead of the baby. That's right. Because at some point... <laughs> She'll have to learn it. If yeah. I just call her baby, right. then she'll love the movie yeah. Dirty Dancing, but yeah. she won't know what her proper name is. Exactly. Yeah. No one puts her in a corner. No one What's would put her in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was in the delivery room. And, you know, I, my family's oddly tight, so I was, when my sisters gave, gave birth, I was in the delivery room as well. And my sister, what? Val, I was. I was with my sisters. We're very close. I don't know if I like that. I, it's like backwoods, so. You're in the delivery room with your sister? Yes. I it, know somebody else who was in the delivery room with a, with a family, like a sister, and I think that's... I wasn't the father. I was just no, the brother. I, yeah. It was shot in Chicago, yes. which is where you're living now, right? You're from yes. there and you're living there? I'm living there now. Yep. You know, what happened is a lot of my friends in Los Angeles, when I, when I had the baby, they all start saying, well, what, what, what preschool are you going to? As if you have to sign up for the preschool now because there's a waiting list. Right. They're like, I said, well, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't really... I don't know what I would go... And they, and they have to audition. The kid has to interview to be in a preschool. I've heard about this. I thought you have your whole life to get rejected. At four, do you want to be told? Yeah. To, you know what I mean? Right, right. You can't, you can't make the grade? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I'm like, well, if you don't get in the right preschool, forget about kindergarten. First grade's over with. Junior high, it's not going to happen. They're not going to high school. <laughs> and college, you might, you're not going to college. So I was like... That sounds crazy. If I don't go to preschool, it's like you're sentencing your kid to be like a Chilean minor. Not, not there's anything wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with Because wrong. these so-and-sos could learn a few things from right. these Chilean minors, That's am right. I right? No That's question right. about it. <laughs> so I felt like, you know, just go to a place where there's kind of like a good public option, be around you know, people from, from, you know, different backgrounds, and that seemed like an easier road to me. And it's not like that in Chicago? I, I, don't, I didn't know if it was like that everywhere. But... I think in the city, city, it might be like mm -hmm. that. But I think if you're just outside the, the city, that it's, yeah. it's pretty easy. You know, you just, there's, a, you know, good public schools right. and... and and, and, you know, to me, that, that's a lot easier than having someone audition and, you know, go through a whole... I don't, what do they audition? You have to nap and color. I don't know what the... <laughs> right? right? Like, what kind of questions? Can the kids even pay attention? Like, you sit them down, and what are you... No, what's I know. your goals? It's like, my goal is not to wet myself today, you know? <laughs> Like to get up to number seven in my counting. I don't know what the I don't know what they yeah. can ask them. It's crazy. I know. It's uh, I've I've heard about it, and and it's expensive. Like crazy expensive. Fifteen thousand dollars to take a nap. Uh, when yeah. we were kids, <laughs> you get on the like the rug. They cut out the rug. That's right. You know, you you try to focus on the task at hand okay. and not elbow the person next to you. Try not to wet yourself and go home. That was it. That was it. That was preschool. It's different now. Yeah, different it's very now. different time.